Hello everyone, we're talking about holding on, staying the course and not giving up in this assignment that God has given us. And today I want to focus on two very important elements that keep us on track, that uh, help us fulfill the journey. And those two elements are faith and patience. And I'm sure all of you are nodding as, I, as I'm mentioning um, you know, these, these qualities to all of us. Because it's so important um, for us to hold on to faith and to hold on to patience. Uh, and that is what helps God's people receive the promises of God. The writer of the Hebrews in Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 12 says that you do not become sluggish but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. We are passionate about fulfilling God's vision for our lives but as we go through life's journey we realize that you know, it's going to take much more endurance than we ever thought you know, it would. Uh, and so it's helpful for us to look at the lives of people who have held on and uh, who have actually received the fulfillment of the promises. Abraham is a classic example of a man who had faith in God's word over his life for 25 years. And in fact, when we read about um, uh, the, the many people in Hebrews chapter 11, we recognize that the promise of God made over Abraham was not just for his lifetime, but many generations held on to the promise that was unfolding upon them. So, you know, it was a man of faith and his descendants of faith who saw God's promise fulfilled, but they really had to hold on in, patience, in faith. Another a wonderful example for us is Caleb. You know, Caleb, we read about him in the book of Numbers, um, Numbers 13 and then again Joshua 14. Now, this was a, a passionate young man initially who wanted a land you know, that was promised for him and he held on to that promise till he was about 80 years old and he goes back and he asks for that land which was committed to him uh, and you know he never gave up he continued to have that faith even as a young person when he was sent as a spy you see that Caleb had a spirit of faith he did not come back complaining but he came back with a good report that God's people could take the enemy territory. So he was a man of faith and it is people like Abraham and Caleb giving us an example of faith you know, that we must really hold on to. Now here's the second element which is patience. Now patience is very important. Romans 8.25 it says, but if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Now, have you ever seen a farmer sowing a seed and in two days digging it out because there was no crop? Nobody does that. We sow a seed and we know that we have to nurture it, you know, water it and do all the things that is required. And at the right time, there will be, you know, there will be a crop, then there will be a harvest. So when we have sown something, we really have to be patient. We have to hold on and trust God that God is faithful. God is the one who will bring the increase for us. So faith and patience are important for us to not quit and complete the race that God has for us. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for such wonderful examples. And uh, Lord, we pray that you will help us as well, Lord, to speak faith and Lord, uh, walk in patience so that we can receive the promises made over our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.